Hey, hey, party people, it's Lycona de Chichi, and welcome to the Easy Peasy Guide for the Minstrel's Ballad, Zodiac's Fall, or also known as Zodiac EX. First, we set up our markers like this, and notice that our A marker is placed in this spot here. This will help with positioning your character with a few mechanics later in the fight. I'm also going to be using footage from some of our other runs where the A marker is out of place. Just know that this marker set right here is the one we're currently using. To start things off, we first pull the boss and he'll troll the healers with a one HP mechanic called Kokaitos. So healers, heal up accordingly. Next up is Paradigma, which is the main mechanic of this fight. For this one, he'll spawn four birds. These birds will cast a donut shaped AOE around them when they explode so you'll want to stand underneath them to dodge it. You can use the circle graphic on the stage here as a guide, and it will also help you position your character with other mechanics we'll see later in the fight. As the bird's donut AoEs are going off, a multi-hit stack marker called Sticks will appear on a party member. It will hit six times, so use your mitigation and lots of healing here. Next up is the Tank Buster mechanic with a tank swap called Ania. The tank with this red marker will want to break away from the party because it casts a small AoE on you. Zodiac will then cast Exotericos, another main mechanic of this fight. For this one, he'll place either a purple triangle or a pink square along the outsides of the arena. The purple triangle will cast a triangle-shaped AoE coming from the side of the stage where the triangle spawned. The pink square is a half-room AoE that covers the side of the stage where that pink square spawned. These two shapes will always cast their respective AoEs from their positions, so when they come up in future mechanics, their AoEs will overlap, so you'll know how to dodge them. Paradigma comes up next, and this time, Zodiac will put down two birds and two behemoths. The behemoths will explode with a giant AoE around them, so you'll always want to end up under the birds. The birds are your best friends. Zodiac will then jump to either the left or the right corner and cast Algodon. It's a really wide knockback line AoE mechanic coming from the corner he just jumped to. You'll want to dodge to the opposite corner and at the same time get under a bird. If you happen to make a mistake and run to a corner where there's a behemoth while dodging his line AoE, just make sure you dodge his line AoE and take the AoE behemoth hit. You'll get a vulnerability stack, but at least you can continue on with the rest of the fight. Come back to the middle of the stage where he'll cast Phobos, which is a raid-wide AoE that applies a bleed debuff on everybody. He'll then cast Paradigma, which will put two snakes on one edge of the stage. You've seen these snakes before from normal mode, and they'll cast line AoEs through the stage from their positions. Zodiac will then cast Exotericos, which will put a shape alongside the outside of the stage, like we've seen before. Then the biggest brain mechanic that I have ever experienced, Astral Flow, will rotate the stage in either a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. You can know which way the stage is turning by the ginormous arrows on the side that you can't miss. Once the mechanic goes off, you will get bound in place while the stage rotates underneath you 45 degrees or one quarter turn. Keep in mind that you can continue attacking the boss while bound in place. The shapes and their AoEs on the side of the arena do not move with the stage, because they are not attached to the stage. But the two snakes that are attached to the stage do move. Once the stage completes its quarter turn, all the AoEs from both the shapes and the snakes will go off. How I work it out in my smooth brain is to break up the mechanic into pieces. First, identify the shape and move to the part of the stage that avoids that AoE. While staying around that point, take note of where the snakes spawn, and pretend to dodge their line AoEs before the stage rotates. Once the giant arrows appear, I focus on just one corner of the stage where the snake is, or the empty spot next to the snake. Then reposition my character slightly as to avoid the line AoEs coming from the snakes after the stage rotates. By breaking up this mechanic into pieces, we can simplify the phases of the mechanic and dodge the AoEs every single time. Next up is Ania, which is the tank buster and tank swap. Zodiac will then cast Paradigma, which will put down our two snake friends on either the left or the right side of the stage, and then he'll slam his fists down with Adakia, creating two giant circle AoEs on the left and the right side of the stage. This is where the location of the A marker comes into place. If the snake's line AoEs were covering the very front of the stage, you can stand on the A marker so you can dodge both his fist slams and that snake line AoE. After that, we'll begin the add phase. Four orbs will spawn, and you just have to DPS them down. Shapes will spawn at the front of the stage, and in three different patterns. 
Each pattern appears once, but the order in which each pattern appears can be different every time. So let's go over each pattern. First, we get a new shape, which is a green diamond. This shape will cast a line AOE that covers about a third of the stage. This pattern here has the triangle in the middle, and so the safe spots will be here next to the purple triangles towards the front. Next, we get a green diamond in the middle and purple triangles on either side, so the safe spots will be here. And lastly, we get a pink square in the middle and a green diamond on either side, so the safe spots will be at the back of the stage in the middle. While you can start DPSing any of the orbs, our group found it best to start with the orbs at the back. The reason for this is that two of the three AoE patterns that appear will cover the back of the stage, which means there is less melee DPS uptimes for the rear orbs. However, as a melee, you can still hit the front orbs while dodging two of the patterns up front. If the front orbs are destroyed first, when the melees go to dodge mechanics, they'll have nothing to hit, and thus you'll lose overall DPS. And since this is an ad phase with a DPS check just like every other ad phase, we want to maximize our DPS. After you kill those orbs, come back to the middle and throw up some shields and mitigation because Zodiac will cast this word, which is just a giant AoE. After this AoE, don't use your buffs here as he soon becomes untargetable for the next mechanic. And to help you conceptualize the next mechanic, here's Mario Party. Zodiac will then cast Astral Eclipse. He'll fly around the stage counterclockwise, dropping star patterns on the horizon behind him, starting from the west, the south, and then the east. Or the way that I think about it, the left side, the back, and the right side. These star patterns indicate the shape of the AoEs that will explode on the stage. But there's a catch. These star patterns will fold in onto the stage, much like closing a book. As a kind of fun joke, but really for reals, that Mario Party clip that we played earlier actually helps visualize how these star patterns come down on the stage. The bottom of the star pattern will hit the bottom of the stage respectively, the middle hits the middle, and the top will hit the top. What helps me out with this mechanic is getting my character into a safe spot for the first star pattern, identifying the next two safe spots for the next two patterns, and then we use the markers as reference points for the safe spots. In this case, we go from D to the middle of the stage near A to the two marker. While you're dodging the star AoE patterns, pay attention to the front of the stage and you'll see three of the green diamonds begin to spawn. If you remember from before, the first ones to spawn will shoot out their line AoEs first, so you'll want to find one that's spawning last, hide behind that, and then move towards the line AoE that just exploded. Don't forget, these line AoEs overlap quite a bit, so just be sure you're giving yourself enough room and enough space to dodge those other line AoEs. Zodiac will then cast Paradigma, which will put down our birds and behemoths, but this time there's also a red fire line that gets placed on the stage diagonally. The stage will rotate either clockwise or counterclockwise as before, and you'll have to position your character precisely in order to dodge all the AoEs. Luckily, we can identify the exact spot where we need to stand by looking at the markers that appear on the stage. So let's break down this mechanic and where to stand so we can dodge it every time. Like before, the stage will rotate one quarter turn depending on the direction of the arrows. The birds, behemoths, and the fire line will all rotate together. Don't worry, at this point you can run over all the AoE indicators and not get hit. First, go to a safe spot where a bird will end up after the rotation. Next, see this line right here on the stage? This line indicates the new position of the fire line AoE after the stage rotates. So you can use this line in order to position your character properly so you don't get hit. Also, take note of the circle graphics underneath the birds and behemoths. You'll see a very faint cross in the middle of these circles. They become important for positioning our character a little bit later in the fight with another mechanic. So keep that in mind. Once Astro Flow is finished casting, the stage will rotate and you will be locked into place. Don't forget, you can still attack the boss when you're locked in place, and if you position your character correctly, you'll dodge all the mechanics. At this point, you've seen all the mechanics in the fight, and moving forward from here, we're going to be dodging different combinations of them. Next up, Aenea will come out, which is the Tank Buster and Tank Swap. He'll then cast Exotericos, which puts a shape on the side of the stage. He'll jump to a corner and cast Algadon, which is his giant line AoE knockback. So run to the opposite corner and dodge the shape that comes up. He'll then cast Paradigma again, which will place down two snakes on the outside of the stage, four birds in the corners, and a red fire line AoE. 
the arrows come up and the stage will rotate in that direction as it has before. Remember the little cross on the circle graphic on the stage here? If you break them up into quadrants like this, you'll see that depending on how the mechanics resolve, placing your character in one of these little quadrants will allow you to dodge all the mechanics with ease. For example, since we know that this snake's line AoE will rotate to the front of the stage, the front is not safe. However, the edge of the snake's line AoE goes right through the middle of these circles under the birds. The fire line AoE will go through the circle diagonally from where it's rotating. And so if we place our characters in this particular quadrant, we'll dodge all the AoEs every single time. While we could go over each combination of this mechanic, it's better to remember the formula so you can position your character properly. Just remember that the edge of the snake's line AoE goes through the middle of these circle graphics, and the edge of the fire line AoE goes through the circles diagonally. In breaking down each part of this mechanic, we won't be overwhelmed. Note the positions of the snakes, see the rotation of the arrows, go to a bird, use the line and symbols on the ground to position your character in a quadrant so you can dodge everything. After the mechanic goes off, Zodiac will cast Sticks, which is the multiple hit stack marker on the party. It hurts, so use mitigation and heal appropriately. Next up, he'll cast Trimorphous Exotericos, where he'll put three shapes on the outside of the stage and their respective AoEs will go off in succession. So you wanna make sure you dodge those AoEs in order. After that, come up to the front to dodge his fist slams. He'll then cast Astral Eclipse again, where he'll fly around the stage, placing down those star patterns on the horizon behind him like before. So line up the first one and use the markers to navigate through those AoEs and find the safe spots. As the third star pattern AoE goes off, he'll jump to a corner and cast Algodon, which is his knockback line AoE, so dodge to one corner. Next, he'll cast Aenea, which is the tank buster and tank swap. Paradigma comes out next with two snakes and then Exotericos, where he'll put down a purple triangle on the outside of the stage. He'll then rotate the stage as usual, so position your character to avoid all of the AoEs. As soon as all of those AoEs go off, everyone will each get multiple AoE circles placed on them, so move as a group to the other side of the stage. A multiple hit stack marker will appear on one party member, so so group back up and use your party mitigation and heals to get through it. After that, he'll put a purple triangle on the side of the stage. The green diamonds will appear at the front, so you want to dodge those AoEs coming from both. Paradigma comes out next, and again, this time, it's an easy one. You just go to one of these behemoths up front. Since either way the stage rotates, there will always be a bird there. Look out for one of the shapes he puts on the outside of the stage, and pay attention to that fire line AoE. He'll then cast Phobos, which is an AoE that places a bleed on everyone. Then he'll cast Trimorphous Exotericos again. You've seen this one before, where he'll place the three shapes on the outside of the stage, dodge their respective AoEs when they come out. He'll jump to a corner and slap down his line AoE, so dodge that. Then Styx happens again, which is the multiple hit stack marker, so heal up accordingly, use some mitigation, and by now you've seen all the mechanics like a thousand times, so onward from here, you should be good to go. For this fight, we've never seen the Enrage, but I'm sure there's one out there. The DPS check should be pretty light since Zodiac is the first trial of the Endwalker expansion. As always, I'd like to thank my raid group and our raid leader Venom for giving us the rundown for this fight, as well as some of our FC members who filled in for some folks needing sleep because they were going a bit hard on the expansion, but as you guys know, you can never quite go hard enough when a new expansion drops. And of course, I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching this video, and I hope this guide has helped you and your friends get your clears. So until next time, keep on adventuring.